what if the future of muscle growth lies in your morning toast now imagine a protein that builds like whey but without the bloating dairy or guilt too good to be true let's uncover the science and history behind this game changing protein yeast protein has a important history during food shortages especially during the world wars scientists sought out a fast and affordable protein yeast turned out to be that protein source the same organism which is used in making bread and beer is nearly 50% of its dry weight as protein and is capable of growing on simple sugars like molasses making it an affordable affordable and quality protein source decades later during the space race nasa explored yeast as a valuable astronaut food because it could convert exhaled carbon dioxide into protein and this was a game changer in the discovery of yeast as a protein source early yeast protein had too many nucleic acids that could cause some health issues but modern science safely removes these nucleic acids with heat and enzymes nutritionally yeast protein rivals with whey with a pdk score of 1 making it easily digestible it contains all the essential nine amino acids and delivers branch chain amino acids like leucine isoleucine and valine for muscle growth and recovery unlike plant protein it is smooth not chalky and completely free from dairy gluten and soy here is a comparison between yeast protein and whey in terms of protein quality both have pdk score of 1 making it easily digestible and delivering on all the nine essential amino acids digestibility this one is slightly gentle on the stomach with whey protein people have faced acne issues bloating issues and hence those who are finding problems with whey and plant protein could look at yeast protein the source of this protein comes from fermented yeast while whey protein is a byproduct of cheese making now with respect to taste and texture both whey protein and yeast protein offer the same quality and this one is slightly creamy with that fermentation process and no chalkiness and finally coming to the price now because of the technology and the fermentation process yeast protein is slightly expensive as compared to whey 1 kg of yeast protein would be costing 2500 to 3500 rupees while the cost of 1 kg of whey is between 1500 to 2500 remember yeast is just not about muscle yeast produces beta glucans which improves immunity by reducing respiratory infections and speeding up the recovery in athletes yeast manans consumed in 1.1 gram per day for 4 weeks improved gut health deep quality non rem sleep and also improved the stool frequency together these compounds make yeast a functional food rather than just a protein source yeast protein is great for vegans vegetarians the lactose intolerant or anyone looking for a sustainable and complete protein source producing whey protein requires 5000 to 6000 liters of water for every kilogram factoring for the cows feeding and processing yeast protein on the other hand requires only 100 to 300 liters of water now none of that information is actually useful unless i try the fermented yeast protein and give you real time feedback in fact let's finish off the video with a quick q and a session the first question will yeast protein cause bloating issues now yeast protein unlike whey or soy it doesn't have dairy or gluten which means it should be naturally lighter on the stomach but if you are consuming this for the first time you may face some issues second does yeast protein cause high uric acid levels and is it even safe well yeast protein undergoes the modern efsa processing and removes most of the excessive nucleic acid that are thought to cause high uric acid levels but if you're someone who faces gout kidney or high uric acid levels consult your doctor and take caution as is the case with high purine foods third will yeast protein help me build muscle yes it contains all the nine essential amino acids which are required for muscle building and if you have a consistent training schedule there is no reason for not building that huge muscle mass fourth and the most important how is the taste now unlike plant protein which is coarse and whey which can cause bloating issues yeast protein undergoes this bio fermentation technology and hence it gives it a smooth and a creamy texture now taste is subjective i quite like the taste but you might go for a trial pack and then make a judgment and there is a brand called super u which was selling the protein wafer bars initially and now is selling india's first fermented yeast protein and they market it as gut loving and delivers all the nine essential amino acids that are required for muscle building so you can try that out now if this fermented yeast protein delivers the same results as whey and is gut friendly it can be a revolution in india's protein story let me know what do you think of this in the comments